everyone, and to all our listeners, thank you for coming back for another episode of the how to um how how to uh, how to do stuff in the wilderness. How to do stuff in the wilderness podcast. Uh, this is a, a great show where we talk about all kinds of wilderness things and you've probably listened to the show before i'm here back with some people who have been here before we've got calvin hoffman who is the co-host yep here i am hello everybody all right and we have clyde back again who again just kind of showed up and apparently dan hasn't actually been communicating with with him at all uh, it's kind of uncomfortable that you just keep on showing up at the studio here uh, without that invitation but you know you're here now so uh, why don't you introduce yourself hi everybody it's clyde again it's a little uncomfortable to be back after that type of introduction but well, I mean, it's true. So I, I you know, I, you come on. A, this is a I very like high quality show, and we like to maintain that standard of quality in our guests. And you know, when I find out last week that both of you have been involved with activities that are bad and illicit, I don't want to be associated with that. So, well, to be fair, with my situation, it was totally accidental. Nobody's fault but the other person's, so... And in my situation, when I bought the knife in question, it was legal. All right, well, no one no one cares, all right? It's just trying to, you know, profess my uh, innocence, if you will. Yeah. So. Do you got your, are you practicing for your trial or something? There's no trial. There's no charges. I said that last week. Well, he dropped the charges? There were, he didn't ever... There was the possibility of him pressing charges, and he decided not to, so... Well, all right, that sounds a little suspicious, uh, but I guess we're not here to do detective work. We're just here to talk about the wilderness. So here we are. Another update. I know that all of you have really been excited about our sponsorships and about the potential of those. And I think last week, you know, we, we put out a really good ad for or a potential ad for a potential sponsor. And uh, we did, we actually finally got a response from Barb's Bridal, who was, you know, a bridal place and all that sort of thing. Well, they actually sent us a gift card to their shop. A $50 gift card to their shop. I guess it's generous, whatever, but it's we couldn't apply it to anything of use for the show. So I don't know, you know, what were you paying us for? I, I We did a whole ad for you, and you just threw that away. You, It's just insulting. I mean, I went there, I, I did, I mean, I used this to buy a bow tie, and I have it on right now, actually. It's pretty nice, but it was not, I can tell you this, it was not worth $50, which is, I mean, what I would have paid, thankfully I had this so that it was free, but it was not, it was not worth it. Let me just tell you that. So another sponsorship kind of fallen through the hole there, but I guess I got a bow tie out of it. So, you know, that's cool. Last week we said we were going to take some questions, which we did um, on our Instagram, which uh, again, you should go follow us. That is how to do stuff underscore podcast on Instagram. Last week we took one question about our favorite aisles at Home Depot. Unfortunately, there was no one else who was asking any questions because Dan, our producer, has just been awful with the social media and we have like less followers there than people who have actually listened to the podcast. So, you know, I don't know what to tell you, Dan. You want us to get out of your studio, you know, I know you don't like us here because you you just seemed very uncooperative these past couple of weeks, but, you know, I don't know what to do because you're taking the responsibilities that we've given you and you're just, again, you're, you're just throwing them away, so... Kind of dropping the ball. Yeah. We can't have this interaction with people who actually listen and listen to the podcast, so I guess that's just a disappointment and there's no more questions from the fans who I'm sure, you know, would have questions if you weren't so terrible at managing social media but anyway i'm not here to point fingers we do have um i'm just kind of looking at other questions that you can ask people online and uh, i guess one of the top questions here is uh, what uh what's your favorite color i guess we could talk about that a little bit uh mine i i'd say mine is like a 
kind of a magenta. Cool. Uh, yeah, mine, you know, it used to be uh, orange um, after kind of what's been going on. It is no longer orange. With Home um, Depot, right? Uh, and other, beyond just that, you know, there are other bit, but some other things, just kind of personal that I don't want to talk about um, that have you know, contributed. Right, we're just that, asking but, color. Do you have a uh, new favorite color? Uh, yeah, I would say probably a uh, dark forest green. All right. Yeah, wilderness. Look at that. Clyde, what about you? Do you have a favorite color? I mean, I guess if I had to choose a favorite color, it's probably port wine. Okay. Excuse me. Uh, sorry, what was that? Port wine. Oh, okay, no but one knows what that is. I'm unfamiliar with that color. Think red, but... So just say red. But it's, it's not, not that it's hard. It's not just red. It's not your generic red. Okay, Just like Whatever. how magenta... This was a bad idea. Let's just move on. <sighs> um, We've been busy this week. Uh, we've all, you know, kind of had to deal... Well, I don't know. No one knows what you have been up to, Clyde, because you don't have any communication with any of us. Well, so. no one communicates with me, so I don't see how... Somebody's got to, you know, kind of pick up the slack for everybody else. So, I mean, it's kind of a balancing game, and you're just kind of not mm-hmm. balancing well, at all. I'm the guest of the show. You explicitly told me that I just kind of am here. I don't I don't think that designing Regardless, the shows falls on my shoulders. I mean, you still got Just like the of... board did. That was in the past. It wasn't my fault. I've stated that many times. For those but... maybe people who haven't listened, um, Kelvin basically dropped a board on or a That's... big piece of lumber on a customer, and they fractured their whole leg. Is that is not what happened? It was totally. If you want to know the story, you can go back and listen to last week's episode. Where well, I lay it was it all like out. unsecured lumber or whatever, but we all know what uh, really happened. This was a malicious intent and everything. It was, that is totally, totally untrue. It was 100% an accident. The guy was, turns out he was probably, from what I've heard and what I saw, he's probably not the brightest, probably... A, bottom tier of society. okay so you had a vendetta against this guy and from the beginning he, no and he he just didn't know how to handle such a kind of top quality product um and it was totally his fault so so are you looking for a new job now or what's going I, on yes i have i'm sorry if i am tired and a little bit crabby i've been up this whole week uh trying to find a job um i've had dozens of interviews and they all ask you know kind of what happened like why did you leave after you've been working there for seven years um and after i kind of explain what happened they all kind of just ghost me um so i've been trying to get a job at barb's bridal because they're severely understaffed when i went there well the service uh, was incredibly poor it's i'll i'll put it on my list of uh places to keep trying that but all right well that's what you've been up to this past week i've been up to something much more exciting which i'm super super excited to tell all of you about because you know you're listening to this wilderness podcast and you don't expect to get knowledge about you know sort of real world things but i'm here to tell you about cryptocurrency which is basically the the money of the future um is is what People have been calling it on, you know, everywhere I've been. This week, what I've been doing is, you know, I've been making money and I I don't even need to have a job. Well, I have a job, but I mean, I'm not making that much from it. So, you know, I've been kind of supplementing it with this money that I've been making. I mean, it's it's kind of virtual money, I guess, but the payoff is, is big and, you know, we're expecting great things in the future. Um, I've just been doing all this trading, you know, like 24 seven and, and I'm just really, I mean, it's going places. So, um, you know, check out cryptocurrency. There's, there's a lot of, of different types of, of cryptocurrency. Some of them you might've heard of like Bitcoin and, and, uh, Dogecoin, you know, those are, these things kind of work in, in trends. So those, I think they're kind of on the on the fall right now. Uh, so we're not going to be seeing a lot more out of them. But according to the sources that I have um, at various websites, various websites including um, Coinbase.com, the the really the up and coming cryptocurrency is Cardano, which 
it, it's just it's going to take off. And I have, you know, plenty of uh, little birdies who are telling me that, that this is the future. And so if you don't want to get left behind, if you don't want to have to be living in the wilderness in a trailer like Clyde because you don't have any money, you want to invest as soon as possible. Invest in Cardano and the payoff will be huge. Um, and I invested, you know, a lot of money. I mean, it was like half my savings account. So I'm hoping that it, well, it will. I mean, you know, I know this on good authority, uh, but I will make that money back probably a hundredfold. So get out there, get online and start buying right now. That's what I've been up to. Uh, so, you know, we've all been really busy is basically the takeaway here. The wilderness thing is, you know, it's kind of a fun pastime. But now for me, I've been, you know, really finding my passion here in this all this kind of day trading and stuff like that. Um, you know, but it is fun to talk about, I guess. So we're back. You know, we've kind of exhausted all our, the possibilities of like survival and all this. But if, you, if you've listened to all the episodes up till now, you should pretty much know everything about how to survive, I think. <clears throat> so today, I think, you know, we're just going to have fun and we're going to talk about uh, games and, and recreation that you can do in the wilderness. Yeah, kind of explore the... Uh... The other side of that, I mean, our, our show is called How to Do Stuff in the Wilderness, not just yeah. How to Survive, like you kind of always say. Well, I mean, that, so. that was kind of the original intent, but we are expanding outwards now, Di you know, diversifying, like you want to do when you're investing, by the way. Except, well, I mean, Cardano is, if you put everything in that, that's a, a, a good bet for sure. Right, whatever. So, yeah, I mean, topic for today, games and recreation in the wilderness. I guess some of the things you can do are uh, climb trees. That's always, yeah. I mean, that's always an option if you're It's always out there. I mean, if you're not in a forest, though, that's kind of a problem, I guess. Yeah, you could <laughs> swim in a lake, any body of water. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. that's fun. Yeah, just be careful. Watch out for... Uh, Eels. Da dangerous dangerous uh, animals and, I guess, eels, for sure. Which, um, I mean, if you've been listening, you have listened to our self-defense portion, so exactly. you should know what to do. But self yeah. Yep. yeah, the self-defense and all of the topics for survival kind of are at play still while yep. we're doing this recreation. Yep, 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 oh, yep, yeah. yep so. because, uh, yeah, it's all kind of connected. For sure. You know, in a holistic sense. <clears throat> Some other things you can do in the wilderness are if you are uh, in a forest or if you're not in a forest even, you know, if there's anything that you can kind of huck around um, yeah, and play catch, with... play catch with, I guess, yourself. But um, so you can pretty much yeah, throw around like uh, rocks or sticks, um, pine cones, pine cones are another great option, small animals, well, like they, mice or like they do, I don't know, they are kind like of like the vol things voles they are kind of a good huck in size but mm -hmm. um I mean, that, they, that's a last resort that's option a, yeah. there, there should be plenty around there's other things that you can do with animals. wilderness will provide um, it will I, you know even even for games and stuff that's what the old people did i suppose you can if you find a stick or just use your finger you can kind of make like a games in the dirt or wrestling matches are always fun i mean you can do that anywhere really or arm arm wrestling too yep <clears throat> um I, I mean that you probably need another person for that don't don't you well it would help but i mean if you're i mean there are people uh who are out there in the wilderness who are kind of stranded or out there on purpose with other people so mm -hmm. Yeah, just bring, you know, I don't know, I mean, anything, you know, just think of a game, really. It's not that hard. Anything goes in the wilderness. <clears throat> mm -hmm. um, yeah, so I guess that's, you know, kind of our tips there. Um, we got another potential sponsorship this week, um, which, I mean, doesn't really matter. I'm going to have plenty of money to pour into this project real soon. But, you know, our potential sponsorship, which might, you know, might come through, it might not. Um, but this week, it is uh, <clears throat> a small company in Fertile, Minnesota. Uh, it's called Gordy's Sale and Service. Uh, so if you're interested, contact Gordy. I'm, I think there's a website. I don't know. We kind of tried to find out some information about it, but uh, it's just about cars and stuff. So I don't know. You can you can 
look it up and find out more information. Um, and I'll say, Gordy, um, uh, you know, if, if you sponsor us, I will tell everyone all about what you have there, uh, because I'm sure you got some great stuff. But, uh, you know, I, I don't want to divulge too much so that we use all, up all that, you know, ad, ad potential there. So that's Gordy's sale and service with, you know, whatever kind of a vague term there, but uh, car things, I think. So thanks, Gordy, uh, in the future. Yep. We have a segment this week called, uh, this is a, actually a segment we've done before. Um, this is Clyde, right before this episode, we were planning to do something else, but uh, he said he was really excited to share some some other stuff with us and kind of continue with the segment that he did last time, which is called All, or just Geared Up. With Clyde. With Clyde. Geared up with Clyde. So what what do you have for us today? All right. Well, <clears throat> thank you. Um, today, I decided that we're kind of going along sort of with a theme, but not with the illegal theme of last mm-hmm. week. We're just going to be sticking with the theme of weapons in the wilderness. All right. As, Good. And we don't as, need any more criminals on this show. That is very correct. As I had, As we had mentioned in self-defense, sometimes you're in rough situations and you need something to protect yourself. Now, worst comes to worst, you can probably find something wherever you are that's kind of an impromptu weapon. However, nothing beats an actual weapon. Mm -hmm. And today, I'm going to go over a few of my favorite firearms. Uh, That's kind of what the main one is. We're just going to go over it, and you can see what you think. So, None of uh, these things you can find in the wilderness, but... I mean, this is stuff that you want to bring to the wilderness. Yep, all right. Just just do the segment. All right. It's, all right. So, matter. first one, pistols. I think that they are extremely good to have out in the wilderness. They're nice and small, pack quite a bit of a punch for their size. Uh, so my suggestion for a pistol to be bringing into the wilderness would be the Desert Eagle, an absolute classic, very powerful, very dangerous for anyone who would be trying to harm you or anything, I guess. Um, moving on from that, we go to a rifle. Now, a rifle is for longer distance, and this would be good for hunting, as we kind of call back to our food-based episode. Um, you want we food in the wilderness. That. I promised that we were going to say more about that, I guess. But, Dan, can you make a note of that? All right. Continue. Uh, so, so if you need food, there are animals in the wilderness, and a good way to get that food is to shoot them. And my suggestion for a rifle would be the Mossberg Patriot. Nice little bolt action, 30 on 6. Uh, ve- just very good, consistent gun can really knock down basically any any <sighs> animal from a good distance. So that way you can harvest that meat and survive in the wilderness. Uh, my next suggestion is the Sig Sauer M four hundred. You have um one more after this. All right, just keep, uh, I, keep I'm, going. I am, dude. I am. So Sig Sauer M four hundred tread. Uh, this is basically just an assault rifle. I mean, rifles can be good and all, but an assault rifle, if you have a lot of things that you're trying to protect yourself from, this is the way to go. Really fast shooting, really powerful, and just overall a great, great gun. And my final gun is going to be a shotgun. Now, shotgun are basically the best for kind of just big blaze of glory, trying yeah, to take down something we're all, big. We're all familiar with the shot, what a shotgun is. Okay, basically. well... Um, most people like your typical run-of-the-mill shotgun, but I, however, do actually have some spending money, as I do work on, like, Invest YouTube. in Cardano, you get more. Uh, but none of you, neither of you have ever asked what I actually do for work, because... You're the guest, no one cares. Or just Well, my suggestion for a shotgun is more of a broad category. I find that your typical normal shotgun isn't just going to do the trick. You need versatility. You need a sawed-off shotgun. Those things, they are so easy to carry around compared to a large shotgun. And they have a little bit of a wider range when you actually shoot as well, so then you can get more for, for your bullet. And that's oh about gosh. it. Oh my gosh. What? Oh man. Uh, okay, I, I have some... Oh no. Um, Cardano is falling. Um, uh, this is bad. Uh, it's, it's going down as we speak. Okay, we need to... Dan, let's... Stop here. Uh, all right, we're we're done. All right, we'll see you next week. Uh, I gotta get this taken care of. Um, 
But all right, uh, thanks for listening, and uh, we'll we'll uh, be back later. Bye, everybody. All right, later.